Hey Nugget, welcome back to my second life and today I'm going to be showing you how to get really good quality pictures for your avatar and just in general. <laughs> and as you can see I do have a different avatar, this is how I wanted to originally look like so I had to change her. It's a skin that I first got when I was new to second life and she's so cute, oh my gosh. It's a head skin and I matched it with the body applier it said in the note card that came with the skin so yeah I really hope that YouTube doesn't try to tell me I got nudie just because of the top I'm wearing but I'm just gonna hope <laughs> and this is my house I know it looks different from my last video as well because I had to reset well the land was reset so I had to put the house back and yeah everything was gone but it's fine I didn't have furniture and just a quick update on my second life. I have a stripper job and it's pretty good. Well, I haven't actually started, I'm just practicing for now. Also, the poses that I'm using in this video, I'm going to put them in the description. They are like 210 lindens if you have enough to get one of them. But right now, I'm just gonna pick a pose and then I'm going to show you what settings you should have for your pictures. So for one, you do not need a gaming laptop to be able to have good pictures. You just need to understand how good your laptop is, like if it's a mid-range laptop with decent specs. you got to make sure that the size is not too big. If it is, then it's going to look blurry. But if it's a small compact size, like for Instagram, your pictures are still going to be clear. You don't need a graphics card to have good pictures on Second Life because I have a MacBook and Mac macbooks don't have graphics cards i mean well the 16 inch macbook has a graphics card but this one i have the macbook air 2020 the early 2020 version doesn't have one <laughs> and it's the entry level macbook if you're wondering so yeah i'm actually so tired of these poses <laughs> i've reused these a lot i'm so tired of them but yes they are really good though you can actually get some really cute poses so i'm gonna use this one for today i really like it so i'm just putting the angle i want the picture to be in like this and now we are going to do the graphics so in the beginning of my video i talked about having it between high and ultra well my last video if you didn't watch it yet i talked about having it between high and ultra also if you're scared of going ultra because you think firestorm is going to crash it's not going to crash unless you have a really low-end laptop maybe it might crash but i have done it on ultra and it, it didn't crash it was just a little bit more slow and lagging a bit when i change angles and stuff but that's about it you're not going to crash oh and if your avatar moves again it's fine just restart the animation and you're good to go so the lightings that you would really need is ambient oculation which basically adds more depth to the quality like the shadows and stuff in the room and another thing you could do is shadows so sun and moon that's another thing that really brings out your pictures depending on your wind light so i'm going to talk about that next so you're going to notice it change in the background as you're changing the settings and local lights is just the lighting around you like it will you will see it like a highlight bouncing off your avatar's eyes and like the highlights on her face but that's mostly something you fix with your hood like whatever head you got so for example i have the jenna's head and you can fix like the lighting on there i'm gonna show you i'm gonna just put everything on all of this comes on anyway when you go on ultra but, in, but when you do go on ultra, instead of sun and moon, it's going to give you this setting right here, plus project, um, projectors. Gosh, I need to speak way, way more clearer. Okay, so now you can see the scenery looks way different from before. And now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because I feel like, I don't know if I have it set up. But this is your HUD right here when you get it up. And what I'm talking about is all of this right here. So I have this on the oily skin and make sure you to know that you have it on make sure this light is on like 
yellow. Now we're just gonna test out the si the lighting situation. Make sure you turn off use region wind light so that you can actually see the wind lights that you're using. So now I'm gonna change it to a wind light, I mean, to a different lighting so you can see the textures on her face from the Jenna's HUD that I was talking about. Sometimes this kind of takes time. <laughs> Low key. Let me just use a different wind light. But my favorite one is the one that I just used. The tanned one. Oh wow. That is not it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my lord. I was not trying to get that. Okay, these wind lights are not it. I have never used these before. I'm just clicking anything. <laughs> now there we go. Okay, so I actually like this wind light. This is the soft lavender day wind light. And I like it how it matches her outfit because it's pink. Ooh, this is this is gonna be a cute picture. Oh my gosh. Look. I'm so proud of myself right now. Do you see this? Okay. So now we're gonna take the picture and I'm gonna explain all this stuff right here. I'm hoping the angle is right because I did set up everything beforehand. Okay, this is, it's okay. Let me just move the camera angle a little bit. You can't really tell, you just have to keep playing around with it till it's set up how you want it to be. And just like I said before, if your computer is not that good, you're gonna experience some lag when you change and move your camera around so yeah let's see if that looks any better and it will take some time to change oh that looks so much better i actually might edit this and put this on instagram because i'm just doing examples right now <laughs> okay let me explain when you take your picture for the first time you might have it like on your computer's width and height so just make sure you choose custom and this might be ticked on so just take it off and then use this width and height so my friend actually put me onto this but you can also watch youtube videos on what size to use for like instagram or if you want to have a different look to your pictures with a different size then you can do that as well but this is the only one i know and what works for me and my computer because like i said i don't have a graphics card so if i use a different size it it will look blurry so for anyone else who has the same experience make sure you use this as well and yeah the next thing you do is just have it make sure it saves at a location and then boom just save it and then you can just go ahead and look at your picture on your computer or wherever else you saved it and i'm also going to show you different examples of other l different lighting situations that i've been to in the backdrop city landmark that i'm gonna put down in the description i'm gonna try to go there after this let's do another pose and then i'm gonna try to go to that landmark i'm going on about and show you what that looks like and how you use it i hate when her hands move and i know it's not supposed to do that but whatever let's just do this pose i guess like so let's move closer let's just make her look like she's looking away from the camera just gonna wait for her hands to go back to the pose and boom take the picture save it the first time when i took pictures on second life i was like i don't even want to edit them they look so perfect already so this one's another good one i really do like it it's really cute and by the way if you're wondering what the glitch is on her top she's wearing a nipple piercing so that's why but yeah so that's another decent picture so now let's go to backdrop city so i can explain how you use that area i want to keep this video kind of nice and short and simple to go along without lots of detail because i know a lot of people who's watching is new to second life so there's no point um speaking so much about it because this is literally all you need to know is what graphics to use if your laptop is not going to handle all of this at the same time 
then what you could do is just remove local light and ambient occlusion. Your picture will still look as good without these ticked on. Your laptop should be fine with sun and moon on. But yeah, your picture will still look as good as long as you have the right size and all that. You should be fine. But once I know more details, in-depth details about taking good pictures on Second Life, then I'm going to definitely update this video and talk about it. So you see what I'm talking about? I removed that and my face is still glowing, but the environment around me is brighter. But it doesn't matter. You can still just change the wind lights and just make the picture still look nice. And yeah, as long as you're on between high and ultra, it's still gonna look good. You don't need to have all of it on so it's all about preference and how much your laptop can perform when you do it so i'm saving that back to my original setting so i don't lag so now we are back to normal and i'm going to um backdrop city just gonna let it load up because like i said this place can make you lag sometimes so you just want to use show friends only when you lag it actually makes such a big difference because your computer is trying to load up all the people around you as well as everything else around you so it's finally loading up and this is what it looks like it has all this different scenery you can just pick which one you like depending on what you're going for Usually I always use the shopping scenes or anything that has like an Instagram look to it. Also if you're trying to take a picture for edits and stuff you can come here as well because there's a green screen option right here that you can teleport yourself into and how you actually go in the rooms is you just click it, you see the chair icon, you just click it and boom you're in the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to just use the green screen room to show you what it looks like when you go in. I think it's loading up. Okay, so it was taking its really good time to load up here. It's got me thinking it's not even going to come up. But yeah, if you want to take a picture in here for like edits and stuff, you can come here as well. And that's about it for this video. I think I've explained any everything you would need to know. If you have any more questions, just let me know and I will answer so far i love the welcome comments in my last video thank you so much i've been loving second life so much it makes me not want to go back to i'm for you <laughs> and speaking of that i will be going back to i'm for you not as much though i'm still gonna be on second life of course so on my channel i'm gonna have a lot of second life videos and i'll be going back and forth with imvu just a few times as for the edit tutorials i will be using my second life head and if you don't use second life you can still follow the video because it goes both ways for imvu and second life the only difference is second life is more realistic so when you edit with your second life head you don't really need to do that much editing when it comes to the face so that's the only thing i would say when i do edit tutorials so yeah that's all i wanted to say if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you in my next video